All right, welcome back. So last time there was a weird error that happened and I'll show you what the error is here and how to fix it. So when I was swiping from the outside in, nothing happened and then I did that. And now if I swipe from, let's do it here. If I swipe from here up, this yellow one's gonna go down there. Uh, well, yeah, and the reason that that happens is the controlling Boolean that I put in. So uh, go ahead and go to your grid script and what we have to do is after we let go, we just have to add, so, okay, we've got our touch input. So when we release the UI touch, we wanna do the final touch, grid position, is in grid, touch difference. And then we wanna say um, controlling equals false. Because what was happening is it was bypassing the uh, part of when you touch down, you wanted to make sure that you were actually inside the grid. It was bypassing this because we set controlling to true here after I did that first one, and then I never set it to false again. And so I just needed to set it to false there. So now that I have that done, uh, if I go back into my game and swipe, and then swipe here, it doesn't do that weird thing. All right, cool. Now, what we're gonna be talking about today uh, is the tween node. So what the tween node does is it allows you to have pieces move in your game or not even just move, anything, any property that a, that a node has, you can have it move from what it is to something different using a behavior called a tween. And a tween allows you to have it do things like bounce or uh, gain speed as it goes there or start slow, go fast, and then end slow. There's a lot of really cool behaviors you can use with tweening. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our scenes and we're gonna open up our regular piece scene, the one that all of our pieces are inheriting from. Once that's open, we're gonna add a new node to this and that node is gonna be our movement tweener. So go ahead and click the plus symbol and type in tween. And I'm gonna rename this just so I know what it is. I'm gonna call it move tween. All right, cool. And now let's open up our piece script. We're gonna do some stuff in here. So in our piece script, first we're gonna make a reference to that movement tweener. So I'm gonna make a variable. So I'm gonna say, um, let's do var move tween. And then in my ready function, I'm going to set that move tween. So I'm gonna say move tween is equal to, and if you're referring to something that is a child of the node to which the script is attached, there's a few different ways you can refer to it. Um, so let me show you. So we can do move tween is equal to, uh, we can do get node, and then in quotations, we can use move tween. So we can do that. Another way that we can do it is we can say move tween is equal to, and then you can use a dollar sign and type in the name of the mode, the node. If you have a space in your name, you have to use quotations. It's part of the reason why underscores are the convention for Godot, because then you don't have to use uh, quotations. So either way is fine. I like using git node, I think just because it appeals to my, I don't know, my C-like background. So there we go. So we're setting the move tween. Next, I'm gonna create a new um, function that I'm gonna call move. So function move. And this function is gonna require uh, an argument passed to it. And that argument is where we're moving to. And I'm gonna call that uh, target. Now, what I wanna do in this function is first set a property of our node, of our tween node. So I'm gonna say, um, move tween dot interpolate property. Now, there's a bunch of different uh, arguments that have to go into this interpolate property. First, you have to tell it what to interpolate, and that's gonna be self. Then we need to know the node path property that we're interpolating. And in this case, we're doing that to position. Then we need to know the initial value. The initial value is the current position. Then we need to know the final value. And the final value is gonna be the target. 
Next, we need to know how long it's going to take. I'm going to go pretty zippy here and say 0.3 seconds. And then we have to say what kind of tween we want to use. My favorite is uh, tween.transelastic. And last, we need to say if we're easing in, out, out then in, or in then out. Since we're moving and I'm using the elastic, I'm just going to go with out. So there we go. There's all my tween properties. I'm going to split this between two, two lines here so that it's easier to read. All right, so I'm setting the property of the tween. Once I do that, I need to start it. So after I set that property, I'm going to say move tween dot start. All right, now I need to call this new function with its argument from my grid piece, which is where I'm telling things to move. So I'm going to go to my grid script here. And in swap pieces, right now, I'm just directly setting their position. So instead, I'm going to do first piece dot move. And where I'm going to move it to is my argument. So there we go. I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece. I'm going to do other piece dot move. Oop, move, not mo. And I'm going to move that to this target position. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to save everything. So I'll save all scenes. And because I was making those changes to the, the parent uh, of all of my different pieces, the changes automatically apply to all of them. So let's hit play. And let's see if I broke this. All right. Doesn't that look so much better? Already, like, it just gives so much life to it and makes it feel much more interesting. All right, cool. So there's a bunch of other different tweens that you can use. For example, um, if you decide not to do trans elastic, you could do trans bounce. This one's kind of fun. I don't like it quite as much, but it's still fun. So let's save all of our scenes. Let's hit play. So it's got kind of like a the sound effects help. So that's kind of fun. Um, you can do trans sign. Uh, let's see what that does. So you get this kind of like this really smooth movement. Um, I'm going to go back to elastic because that's my favorite. I just think it looks real cool, especially with the art style I'm using. Okay, so that's how you can add some life to the movement by using uh, tweens. Um, all right, so yeah, super short video today. Last, last one was a little longer. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. Um, you can join the Discord where I'm chatting every day. Feel free to give me a like if you learned anything new, or even if you just like the sound of my voice. Uh, yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day.